Not so long ago, we added some amazing navigation menus. Today, we are extending our library with mobile menus. Without any further ado, let me show you what did we prepare for you this time and how to use it. Go to DVDM Pro Dashboard and select Team Builder tab. Go to WordPress Customizer, toggle DVDM Pro Global Settings and you are going to see Global Mobile Menu. This is the new option, of course. Toggle that and here you are going to see the drop-down list where you can choose which menu would you like to use. The first option is DV default mobile menu and you should be already familiar with that one. The second option is custom DV mobile menu and it is the default DV menu but it allows you to customize it. Then there are three pre-made mobile menus we created tab, click and info mobile menu and let me show you each one of these quickly. Here's the tab, mobile menu and of course we have also designed the sub menus too. Then there's the click mobile menu, here is how it looks like and also the info mobile menu. Sorry, here is how this one looks like. Let me now show you what settings each one of these menus have. The settings are slightly different because the mobile menus are slightly different as well, although the options you have are uh, really similar. Uh, for example, let's have a look at the info mobile menu we have selected at the moment. The first option is to show mobile menu on desktop as well. So when you select this option, the mobile menu is going to be visible on your website regardless the screen size of your visitors. The second option here is a breakpoint. Uh, when would you like the mobile menu to show on your website? And of course, it comes only when this the first option is unselected. So for instance, if I type uh, 640, that means that the mobile menu is going to be visible for all the screen sizes up to uh, 460 uh, pixels width. Then there's an option to open the submenus by default. Let me show you that on an example. Okay, let me put this back. So when you have submenus open by default, here's what happens. This is not great if you have a lot of menu items and submenu items. Uh, in that case, just leave this unchecked so that the visitor doesn't have to scroll down too much. Then of course there's a menu background, uh, color option, this is something that all the menus have. This menu has these social media icons and here's the box where you can change what icons would you like to show and change the URLs. Also you can change the social media icons, font size and color. Let's change that quickly just so you can see that it works well there we go of course there's social media icons hover color uh, once again this is only for this menu other two menus do not have the social media icons then of course you can change the font for the main menu items you can change the font family you can change the font style for example make it bold you can change the font size for these menu items change the color. Let me quickly change some of these settings. Doesn't look pretty but just demonstrating these options for you. You can add a border color, uh, you can change the sub items font, uh, the same options as for the main uh, menu items. This menu also has this information uh, below the menu items. Let's, for example, change the text, uh, your custom text. Let's see how that changes. There we go. And of course, you can change the font for that as well. So it is pretty much similar for other two menus. Uh, have a check, play with it and see how it looks like. And of course, if you are a fan of a default menu you can use the custom DV mobile menu option to change the colors and everything now if you're confused why this 
top part of the menu don't have any options here this is actually default DV mobile menus so you can just go to uh, header and navigation settings instead select primary menu and change the background color here although I believe that you already have this change on your website I hope you like this new update and thanks for watching